So today I'm cooking a haggis scotch egg with celeriac remoulade. I've cooked my egg for six minutes in boiling water. Now I'm going to start the cooking process by plunging it into some ice cold water. So while the egg's cooling, we're going to make the farce or the stuffing for the egg. I'm using some free range pork meat and some haggis. To this, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and flavour with some chives. So now I'm just going to mix all the, the chives and the seasoning in and make sure it's really, really well mixed before we surround the egg with the, the haggis stuffing. So a traditional Scotch egg would just be uh, pork meat and surrounded with breadcrumbs, but this is my modern take on it. It would be ideal for a bun supper, so we've got the haggis in there, we're going to breadcrumb it in the oatmeal. It would be ideal for any bun supper. So now our haggis stuffing has been nicely mixed and it's all seasoned, we're ready to peel our egg. So this is a, a medium-sized egg we're using, six minutes, so it's going to ensure that it's still got a lovely soft yolk in the centre and it's a lot easier to peel as well. So there you have it, a lovely tender egg, soft in the centre. So now the next process is to surround the egg with the, the haggis stuffing mix. So I'm just going to lightly coat the egg just by moulding a little patty shape and placing the egg at the centre. You can be quite generous at this stage, you know. So I'm just squeezing the sausage meat round, trying to make it even all the way around so it cooks evenly. And there you have it. That's the egg covered in the sausage and the haggis. Now we just need to break crumb. So we're going to pass it through the flour. Make sure it's well coated. Then into the egg yolk. And then lastly into the bread crumb with the oatmeal. There you have it. This is now going to fry for seven minutes at 170 degrees. While we're waiting on the scotch egg cooking, I'm going to make a celeriac remoulade. So all we need to do is take the, the celeriac, which is an earthy root vegetable, and we're going to slice it thinly on the mandolin. I like the salad to be really thin uh, because it's going to be served raw. And we're going to combine it with a little bit of lemon juice, a bit of iron mustard and some mayonnaise. So now I'm going to take the celeriac and cut it into thin strips. I like using this as a garnish to the scotched egg because it's a real earthy winter vegetable and it uh, adds a lot of texture and crunch to the dish, which I think works really well. So now we've got our celeriac strips. We're going to season them with a bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> By adding the salt and the lemon juice, it's going to soften the celeriac and it's not going to be so raw uh, and it's going to break down the celeriac. So now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of the iron mustard and two teaspoons of mayonnaise. So now the celeriac's softened up a little bit with lemon juice. I'm just mixing the, the mayonnaise and the iron mustard and bring it together like a, like a celeriac coleslaw. So now our celeriac remoulade is complete. It's time to get the egg out and time to plate it up. So for the dish, I'm just going to put a little bit of celeriac remoulade.
And this is going to be topped off with a Scotch egg. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we're just going to finish it off with a little rocket salad. So there you have it, haggis scotched egg, slurry at remoulade, little bit of rocket salad, why don't you try it for Burns night?